I am Ben Wishaw, and to be drawn was... Can you state your full name, please? Hi, Virginia Weatherall. I'm also Virginia Bates, depending on what hat I'm wearing. My name is Sinead Matthews. It's Ron Meridor. Jenny Jennifer Welsh. When I asked you to be drawn, what was your immediate first thought? Went online and had a look, and I thought, shit, this guy's good. This guy is fucking brilliant. And I should be that lucky that he wants to draw me. So here I am. I was curious. I've been drawn or painted once before. But this was different, and I knew right away it would be different because we were asked to bring in an object or something that was personal and meaningful to us. So it was all quite mysterious. The way I worked being a conversation, did you think it was helpful in order to feel relaxed? Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Because when you're aware someone's taking photographs, it does put you on, on edge. It's like a, an all-seeing eye around you. So the conversation definitely helps because you switch off from what you're doing how you're behaving, um, to, to engaging with um, the questions. No, I, I wasn't, I wasn't intimidated. You, you managed to capture something there, uh, and I think it's, it's, uh, it's about my honesty. Did it feel confrontational in any way, speaking personally about yourself in that, in that manner? Well, there's something quite deep and thoughtful because my memory of the interview was incredibly, you know, joyful and sharing. But what you have captured is something that I don't think I was even aware of at the time that I was carrying. Why did you feel it was important to say yes? I kind of almost forgot what, what the whole thing was all about. It was just a sort of a nice evening, um, having, having a bit of a chat. Well, a bit more than a chat. Because I'm interested in the arts or what, what is behind um, a canvas. It was all encompassing. It was what the mentality behind it, the expression behind it, and for the future, what, what part of the stage this will be. Do you think trust is important between the subject and the artist? It really depends on, on the work and the results you're trying to achieve. If you're trying to achieve something like that, you won't be able to get it without trust. But also, of course, what's fascinating, I don't know whether it's trust as such, but you're giving yourself over so that someone else can make a work of art from it. It goes through another sensibility, and another mind, another being. Like, you're going to spend so much effort and so much dedication to what you do it's not about me trusting you, it's more about you trusting me. Going back to what you talked about with your teddy. Winston. Winston. Yeah. Was it a difficult decision to, to choose him as your personal item? You have keepsakes and they mean a lot, but I haven't had something for as long. And you know, and also just Winston is, is just cool. He's a cool bear. He's like an old school bear. And he's got this massive forehead and his ears are enormous. So when other people meet him, they're like, he's funny looking. Like, I'm just like, well, that's Winston. When on first viewing, talk to me about your reaction. I was surprised by the finished piece because the image seems to say something that, uh, or suggest something to me anyway, that I, I wasn't um, expecting. It's a horrible question, Nigel. It's, it's a really bad question I can't answer. It feels a little bit creepy. Two people connected but um, separate. It's like an overall feeling that the whole thing creates. I don't really have a favourite bit. <laughs> Would you change anything about it? 
Why would I change anything? It's it's your work, and this is the way you you look at me. Would um, you would you do it again? Of course, no brainer. Yeah, of course. Yeah, maybe just on my own. It's going to be a complete different result, I think. Uh, this one is great. Probably the next one is going to be horrible. Would you answer differently? That whole chapter, which was a very long chapter, and I've taken another direction, I'm much more chilled, I think. I don't give a shit. When you look at them, what do you see? It represents something else. It represents a face. I can detach myself from what I see, which is, you know, it's important because it helps me see objectively rather than subjectively. In a weird way, I feel a bit detached from it. I see pain. There is an intensity to it. I do feel quite different to that, to who I was then, which does make me think that we have lots of lives. Actually, I see the weight. I see the weight of my life. I find it very moving. It's just it cracks me up actually. Mm. What was the question? <laughs> Is it hard to look at? You, you can keep looking at it for a long time because that's what people are like, isn't it? I suppose. People sort of vibrate with stories and history and layers and things that they hide. And, and I get a feeling of that from this. And each time I look at it, the meaning shifts. What I'd like to say is, I am Virginia Bates, and to be drawn was. And when you're ready. Uh. I am Sinead Matthews, and to be drawn by Nigel Stefani was a very special and revealing and unique experience. I am Virginia Bates, and to be drawn was obviously a great honour. It's, it's different to being on film. I've been studied. I am Ron Meridor and To Be Drawn was um, a unique and, and special experience. Um, I, I love the, the process and, and I'm crazy about the end results. My name is Jennifer and To Be Drawn was intriguing, adventurous, expansive. I am Ben Wishaw and To Be Drawn was kind of like uh, a part of something that was, is, is, you know, really beautiful. I've got so much to say, but putting it into words is something else. Mm. It's hard to express what these are to me, because it's, you know, it's personal. Yeah. Why would, you do, why would you do it again? I think really it's being a part of it.